Science, Technology, Society and Environment STSE Education, originates from the Science Technology and Society STS movement in science education. This is an outlook on science education that emphasizes the teaching of scientific and technological developments in their cultural, economic, social and political contexts. In this view of science education, students are encouraged to engage in issues pertaining to the impact of science on everyday life and make responsible decisions about how to address such issues Solomon, 1993 and Aikenhead, 1994. Topic Science Technology and Society STS The STS movement has a long history in science education reform, and embraces a wide range of theories about the intersection between science, technology and society Solomon and Aikenhead, 1994, Pedretti 1997. Over the last 20 years, the work of Peter Fensham, the noted Australian science educator, is considered to have heavily contributed to reforms in science education. Fensham's efforts included giving greater prominence to STS in the school science curriculum Aikenhead, 2003. The key aim behind these efforts was to ensure the development of a broad-based science curriculum, embedded in the socio-political and cultural contexts in which it was formulated. From Fensham's point of view, this meant that students would engage with different viewpoints on issues concerning the impact of science and technology on everyday life. They would also understand the relevance of scientific discoveries, rather than just concentrate on learning scientific facts and theories that seemed distant from their realities Fensham, 1985 and 1988. However, although the wheels of change in science education had been set in motion during the late 1970s, it was not until the 1980s that STS perspectives began to gain a serious footing in science curricula, in largely Western contexts Gaskell, 1982. This occurred at a time when issues such as, animal testing, environmental pollution and the growing impact of technological innovation on social infrastructure, were beginning to raise ethical, moral, economic and political dilemmas Fensham, 1988 and Osborne, 2000. There were also concerns among communities of researchers, educators and governments pertaining to the general public's lack of understanding about the interface between science and society Bodmer, 1985, Durant et al. 1989 and Miller 1996. In addition, alarmed by the poor state of scientific literacy among school students, science educators began to grapple with the quandary of how to prepare students to be informed and active citizens, as well as the scientists, medics and engineers of the future e.g. Osborne, 2000 and Aikenhead, 2003. Hence, STS advocates called for reforms in science education that would equip students to understand scientific developments in their cultural, economic, political and social contexts. This was considered important in making science accessible and meaningful to all students, and, most significantly, engaging them in real-world issues Fensham, 1985, Solomon, 1993, Aikenhead, 1994 and Hodson, 1998. <laughs> Goals of STS The key goals of STS are An interdisciplinary high approach to science education, where there is a seamless integration of economic, ethical, social and political aspects of scientific and technological developments in the science curriculum. Engaging students in examining a variety of real-world issues and grounding scientific knowledge in such realities. In today's world, such issues might include the impact on society of, global warming, genetic engineering, animal testing, deforestation practices, nuclear testing and environmental legislations, such as the EU waste legislation or the Kyoto Protocol. Enabling students to formulate a critical understanding of the interface between science, society and technology. Developing students' capacities and confidence to make informed decisions, and to take responsible action to address issues arising from the impact of science on their daily lives.
Topic STSE education There is no uniform definition for STSE education. As mentioned before, STSE is a form of STS education, but places greater emphasis on the environmental consequences of scientific and technological developments. In STSE curricula, scientific developments are explored from a variety of economic, environmental, ethical, moral, social and political Kumar and Chubin, 2000 and Pedretti, 2005 perspectives. At best, STSE education can be loosely defined as a movement that attempts to bring about an understanding of the interface between science, society, technology and the environment. A key goal of STSE is to help students realize the significance of scientific developments in their daily lives and foster a voice of active citizenship Pedretti and Forbes, 2000. Topic improving scientific literacy Over the last two decades, STSE education has taken a prominent position in the science curricula of different parts of the world, such as Australia, Europe, the UK and USA Kumar and Chubin, 2000. In Canada, the inclusion of STSE perspectives in science education has largely come about as a consequence of the Common Framework of Science Learning Outcomes, Pan-Canadian Protocol for Collaboration on School Curriculum 2 this document highlights a need to develop scientific literacy in conjunction with understanding the interrelationships between science, technology, and environment. According to Osborne 2000 and Hodson 2003, scientific literacy can be perceived in four different ways, cultural, developing the capacity to read about and understand issues pertaining to science and technology in the media. Utilitarian, having the knowledge, skills and attitudes that are essential for a career as scientist, engineer or technician. Democratic, broadening knowledge and understanding of science to include the interface between science, technology and society. Economic, formulating knowledge and skills that are essential to the economic growth and effective competition within the global marketplace. However, many science teachers find it difficult and even damaging to their professional identities to teach STSE as part of science education due to the fact that traditional science focuses on established scientific facts rather than philosophical, political, and social issues, the extent of which many educators find to be devaluing to the scientific curriculum. Topic rationale and goals In the context of STSE education, the goals of teaching and learning are largely directed towards engendering cultural and democratic notions of scientific literacy. Here, advocates of STSE education argue that in order to broaden students' understanding of science, and better prepare them for active and responsible citizenship in the future, the scope of science education needs to go beyond learning about scientific theories, facts and technical skills. Therefore, the fundamental aim of STSE education is to equip students to understand and situate scientific and technological developments in their cultural, environmental, economic, political and social contexts Solomon and Aikenhead, 1994, Bingle and Gaskell, 1994, Pedretti 1997 and 2005. For example, rather than learning about the facts and theories of weather patterns, students can explore them in the context of issues such as global warming. They can also debate the environmental, social, economic and political consequences of relevant legislation, such as the Kyoto Protocol. This is thought to provide a richer, more meaningful and relevant canvas against which scientific theories and phenomena relating to weather patterns can be explored Pedretti et al., 2005. In essence, STSE education aims to develop the following skills and perspectives Aikenhead, 1994, Pedretti, 1996, Allsop and Hicks, 2001, social responsibility critical thinking and decision-making skills The ability to formulate sound ethical and moral decisions about issues arising from the impact of science on our daily lives Knowledge, skills and confidence to express opinions and take responsible action to address real-world issues. Topic curriculum content Since STSE education has multiple facets, there are a variety of ways in which it can be approached in the classroom. 
This offers teachers a degree of flexibility, not only in the incorporation of STSE perspectives into their science teaching, but in integrating other curricular areas such as history, geography, social studies and language arts Richardson and Blades, 2001. The table below summarizes the different approaches to STSE education described in the literature Zeman, 1994 and Pedretti, 2005. Topic. Summary table, curriculum content Topic Opportunities and challenges of STSE education Although advocates of STSE education keenly emphasize its merits in science education, they also recognize inherent difficulties in its implementation. The opportunities and challenges of STSE education have been articulated by Hughes 2000 and Pedretti and Forbes 2000, at five different levels, as described below, values and beliefs, the goals of STSE education may challenge the values and beliefs of students and teachers, as well as conventional, culturally entrenched views on scientific and technological developments. Students gain opportunities to engage with, and deeply examine the impact of scientific development on their lives from a critical and informed perspective. This helps to develop students' analytical and problem-solving capacities, as well as their ability to make informed choices in their everyday lives. As they plan and implement STSE education lessons, teachers need to provide a balanced view of the issues being explored. This enables students to formulate their own thoughts, independently explore other opinions and have the confidence to voice their personal viewpoints. Teachers also need to cultivate safe, non-judgmental classroom environments, and must also be careful not to impose their own values and beliefs on students. Knowledge and understanding, the interdisciplinary nature of STSE education requires teachers to research and gather information from a variety of sources. At the same time, teachers need to develop a sound understanding of issues from various disciplines, philosophy, history, geography, social studies, politics, economics, environment and science. This is so that students' knowledge base can be appropriately scaffolded to enable them to effectively engage in discussions, debates and decision-making processes. This ideal raises difficulties. Most science teachers are specialized in a particular field of science. Lack of time and resources may affect how deeply teachers and students can examine issues from multiple perspectives. Nevertheless, a multidisciplinary approach to science education enables students to gain a more rounded perspective on the dilemmas, as well as the opportunities, that science presents in our daily lives. Pedagogic approach – Depending on teacher experience and comfort levels, a variety of pedagogic approaches based on constructivism can be used to stimulate STSE education in the classroom. As illustrated in the table below, the pedagogies used in STSE classrooms need to take students through different levels of understanding to develop their abilities and confidence to critically examine issues and take responsible action. Teachers are often faced with the challenge of transforming classroom practices from task-oriented approaches to those which focus on developing students' understanding and transferring agency for learning to students Hughes, 2000. The table below is a compilation of pedagogic approaches for STSE education described in the literature e.g. Hodson, 1998, Pedretti and Forbes 2000, Richardson and Blades, 2001. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Projects in the field of STSE. Topic science and the city STSE education draws on holistic ways of knowing, learning, and interacting with science. A recent movement in science education has bridged science and technology education with society and environment awareness through critical explorations of place. 
The project Science and the City, for example, took place during the school years 2006–2007 and 2007–2008 involving an intergenerational group of researchers, 36 elementary students grades 6, 7 and 8 working with their teachers, 6 university-based researchers, parents and community members. The goal was to come together, learn science and technology together, and use this knowledge to provide meaningful experiences that make a difference to the lives of friends, families, communities and environments that surround the school. The collective experience allowed students, teachers and learners to foster imagination, responsibility, collaboration, learning and action. The project has led to a series of publications, Allsop, S., and Ibrahim, S. 2008. Visual Journeys in Critical Place-Based Science Education. In Y. J. Lee, and A. K. Tan Eds, Science Education at the Nexus of Theory and Practice. Rotterdam, Sense Publishers 291-303. Allsop, S., and Ibrahim, S. 2007. Searching for Science Motive, Community, Imagery and Agency. Alberta Science Education Journal Special Edition, Shapiro, B. Ed., Research and Writing in Science Education of Interest to Those New in the Profession, 38 17–24, Science and the City, a field zine one collective publication, authored by the students, teachers and researchers together is that of a community zine that offered a format to share possibilities afforded by participatory practices that connect schools with local knowledges, people and places. Allsop, S., Ibrahim, S., and Blimke, M. Eds. 2008 Science and the City, a field zine. Toronto, Ontario, an independent publication written by students and researchers and distributed free to research, student and parent communities. Topic stepwise Stepwise is the acronym for Science and Technology Education Promoting Well-Being for Individuals, Societies and Environments. It is a research and development project based on the Stepwise Framework, which integrates major categories of learning outcomes, including STSE, and relates all of them to WISE Activism. In WISE Activism, students use their literacy in science and technology to try to bring about improvements to the well-being of individuals, societies and environments wise. Students might, for example, use their knowledge about nutrition and issues relating to for-profit food manufacturing, along with data from their own inquiries into eating habits of students in a school cafeteria, to lobby the school administration to improve the nutritional value of foods on offer in the school. The Stepwise Framework implements some important educational principles, including, educate all students to the best of their ability, address relationships among different learning domains e.g., skills and NOST education, encourage student self-determination e.g., via student-led science inquiry and, or technology design projects, provide students with an apprenticeship that enables them to develop expertise for knowledge construction, dissemination and use in addressing important personal, social and environmental problems, educate students about negative, as well as positive, aspects of the nature of science and technology and relationships between them and societies and environments, and, encourage and enable students to take actions to address socio-scientific issues, which implies that they use their literacy in science and technology re elements of stepwise for improving the well-being of individuals, societies and environments, an important research goal, finding is that, educators should help students to develop expertise for knowledge construction, dissemination and use in the context of wise problems i.e., problems regarding the well-being of individuals, societies and environments. Doing the above may encourage and enable students to conduct science inquiry and or technology design projects that explore possible wise problems. Findings from students' wise-oriented projects may serve as great motivation for addressing wise problems, more more so than from STSE education, since student-led science inquiry and or technology design projects provide students with personal engagement in phenomena representation dialectical relationships, you can learn more about Stepwise, including how to get involved in it, at 4. A forum for discussing STSE issues and actions is at 5. 
This forum contains a community reviewed journal, that is, the Journal for Activist Science and Technology Education. Topic: <laughs> Tokyo Global Engineering Corporation, Japan and Global Tokyo Global Engineering Corporation is an education services organization that provides capstone STSE education programs free of charge to engineering students and other stakeholders. These programs are intended to complement—but not to replace—STSE coursework required by academic degree programs of study. The programs are educational opportunities, so students are not paid for their participation. All correspondence among members is completed via email, and all meetings are held via Skype, with English as the language of instruction and publication. Students and other stakeholders are never asked to travel or leave their geographic locations, and are encouraged to publish organizational documents in their personal, primary languages, when English is a secondary language. See also Educational assessment Learning theory education Science STEM fields Topic Notes Topic Bibliography Aikenhead, G. S. 2003 STS Education, A Rose by Any Other Name in A Vision for Science Education, Responding to the World of Peter J. Fensham, ed. Cross, R. Routledge Press. Aikenhead, G. S. What is STS Science Teaching? In Solomon, J. and G. Aikenhead, eds. STS Education, International Perspectives in Reform. New York, Teachers College Press. Allsop, S. and Hicks, K. Eds. 2001 Teaching Science. London, Cogan Page. Bingle, W. and Gaskell, P. 1994 Science Literacy for Decision Making and the Social Construction of Scientific Knowledge. Science Education, 78 pp. 185–201. Bodmer, W. F. The Public Understanding of Science. London, The Royal Society Durant, J. R. Evans, G. A., and Thomas, G. P. The Public Understanding of Science. Nature, 340, pp. 11–14. Fensham, P. J. Science for All. Journal of Curriculum Studies, 17, pp. 415–435. Fensham, P. J. Familiar but Different, Some Dilemmas and New Directions in Science Education. In P. J. Fensham, ed. Developments and Dilemmas in Science Education. New York, Farmer Press pp. 1–26. Gaskell, J. P. Science, Technology and Society, Issues for Science Teachers. Studies in Science Education, 9, pp. 33–36. Harrington, Maria C. R. 2009. An Ethnographic Comparison of Real and Virtual Reality Field Trips to Trillium Trail, the Salamander Find as a Salient Event. In Fryer, N. G. and Khan, P. H. Eds, Children, Youth and Environments, Special Issue on Children in Technological Environments, 19, 1, page page, http colon slash slash www.colorado.edu slash journals slash sci, Hodson, D. 1998 Teaching and Learning Science, Towards a Personalized Approach. Buckingham, Open University Press Hodson, D. 2003 Time for Action, Science Education for an Alternative Future. International Journal of Science Education, 25 6, pp. 645–670. 
Hughes G. 2000 Marginalization of Socio-Scientific Material in Science Technology Society Science Curricula, Some Implications for Gender Inclusivity and Curriculum Reform, Journal of Research in Science Teaching, 37 5, pp. 426–40. Kumar, D. and Chubin, D. 2000 Science Technology and Society, A Sourcebook or Research and Practice. London, Kluwer Academic. Miller, R. 1996 Towards a Science Curriculum for Public Understanding. School Science Review, 77 280, pp. 7–18. Osborne, J. 2000 Science for Citizenship. In Good Practice in Science Teaching, Eds, Monk, M. and Osborne, J., Open University Press, UK. Padretti, E. Learning About Science, Technology and Society STS through an Action Research Project, Co-Constructing an Issues-Based Model for STS Education. School Science and Mathematics, 96 8, pp. 432–440. Padretti, E. 1997, Septic Tank Crisis, A Case Study of Science, Technology and Society Education in an Elementary School. International Journal of Science Education, 19 10, pp. 12–11–30. Padretti, E., and Forbes 2000 From Curriculum Rhetoric to Classroom Reality, STSE Education. Orbit, 31 3, pp. 39–41. Padretti, E., Hewitt, J., Banksy, L., Jawani, A. and Van Oostveen, R. 2004 Contextualizing and Promoting Science, Technology, Society and Environment STSE Perspectives through Multimedia Case Methods in Science Teacher Education in D. B. Zandvliet ed., Proceedings of the Annual Conference of the National Association for Research in Science Teaching, Vancouver, B.C. C. D. Rom. Padretti, E. 2005 STSE Education, Principles and Practices in Aslop S., Banksy L., Padretti E. Eds, Analyzing Exemplary Science Teaching, Theoretical Lenses and a Spectrum of Possibilities for Practice, Open University Press, M. C. Graw Hill Education Richardson, G., and Blades, D. 2001 Social Studies and Science Education Developing World Citizenship Through Interdisciplinary Partnership Solomon J 1993 Teaching Science Technology and Society Philadelphia CA Open University Press Solomon, J. and Aikenhead, G. Eds, 1994 STS Education International Perspectives in Reform New York Teachers College Press Zeman, J. 1994. The rationale of STS education is in the approach. In Solomon, J. and Aikenhead, G. Eds. 1994. STS education: International perspectives in reform. New York: Teachers College Press, pp. 21 to 31. Topic: External links. Topic websites Globally Relevant Life Science Education 6. This site provides exemplars of STSE Education STSE Education, this site provides useful guidelines, resources and lesson plans for STSE Education. Science, a useful website for background information when using the historical approach to STSE. The website contains information about on scientists, their achievements and research interests. Orange County STS Network, a useful website for information on science and technology issues that could be explored in middle and high school curricula. Science Experiments for Kids, Educational and Safe Science Activities for Children to Safely Do at Home. BBC Science Home, list of science websites for 4- to 11-year-old students, including games and activities and resources for teachers and parents. Science Experiments, an educational website aimed at providing a range of activities to promote science amongst children. Science Project Ideas, fun and educational science project ideas in five main categories suitable for elementary and middle school children. 
Global Challenge Award, an educational website aimed at giving students the tools and confidence to solve global problems together. Solutions are guided to meet STSE aims. Panda, a sister site of the World Wildlife Fund, containing resources for students and teachers on environmental issues. Canadian Museum of Nature, the Canadian Museum of Nature site provides curriculum-based resources and lesson plans that can be adapted for STSE education. Stepwise, this is a research and development project, based on the Stepwise framework, which orients science and technology education towards socio-political action to address STSE issues. Environmental Science Education – Information on degree options and careers in the environmental sciences. <laughs> <laughs> Samples of science curricula Council of Ministers of Education, Canada Councils of Ministers of Education, Canada website is a useful resource for understanding the goals and position of STSE education in Canadian curricula. UK Science Curriculum, USA Science Curriculum Standards, Australian Science Curriculum. Topic books These are examples of books available for information on STS, STSE education, teaching practices in science and issues that may be explored in STS, STSE lessons. Allsop S., Benkzy L., Padretti E. Eds., 2005. Analyzing Exemplary Science Teaching. Theoretical Lenses and a Spectrum of Possibilities for Practice, Open University Press, M. C. Graw Hill Education Galbraith D. 1997. Analyzing Issues, Science, Technology, and Society. Toronto, Trifolium Books. Inc. Homer Dixon, T. 2001. The Ingenuity Gap, Can We Solve the Problems of the Future? Pub, Vintage Canada.